Hello, welcome to this video in biology with a respiration. And before going further, we need to understand and know what respiration is. The same respiration is defined as the release of energy from food substances in living cells. This is definitionally restricted, applies to only tissue respiration, which is also called cellular respiration or internal respiration. Now, since living organisms or living cells, they take food. This food is broken down by cells, and these cells they release energy. They release energy through the process we are saying respiration. Now. Internal respiration occurs inside living cells, that's why it's called internal. In, in an organelle known as mitochondria. If you know the introduction of cells in biology, we looked at mitochondria. Or we said this is, its main function is to supply the cell with energy. Now this energy comes from the, in the internal respiration. Now the same internal respiration it is, is divided into two aerobic and anaerobic. Anaerobic requires oxygen, so it takes place in the presence of oxygen. So it's the, it's the same definition for expression, but it takes place in the presence of oxygen. And it's glucose plus oxygen to form carbon dioxide, water, and energy. This energy is what is used by cells. In a chemical equation, it's glucose, oxygen, carbon dioxide water and the very much amount of energy which is released which is 2880 kilo of energy wow the anaerobic respiration it's a type of respiration which takes place in the absence of oxygen the same anaerobic respiration is further divided into two which is alcoholic and lactic fermentation. Alcoholic fermentation is the release of energy from food substances in living cells in the absence of oxygen, producing alcohol. That's why it's known as alcoholic because it produces alcohol. And this type of alcohol, which it, it produces, that's what called ethanol and carbon dioxide. And it produces very low amount of energy. That's one thing that alcoholic is different from lactic fermentation because it produces a very low amount of energy. Even in fact, in general, aerobic anaerobic respiration produces very low energy compared to aerobic. As I saying, the weight equation. Take note: this process of alcoholic fermentation is accompanied by the enzyme zymase. Which is there, which is there to speed up the rate of chemical reaction, to ensure that there is there is a lot of production of carbon dioxide, alcohol, and energy. Now, part of alcohol fermentation takes place in yeast. Its application is in brewing and in baking. In baking, also in brewing, they use the alcoholic fermentation I'll send you notes on how you can apply alcoholic fermentation in the blowing and in baking now let's go to lactic fermentation lactic fermentation is the release of energy from food substances in which cells in the absence of air oxygen of course producing lactic acid instead Alcoholic fermentation produces alcohol in the absence of oxygen, but lactic fermentation produces lactic acid in the absence of oxygen. And the weight equation is glucose without oxygen is being broken direct into lactic acid and energy. We can say that the energy is relatively small as compared to that of the um, even the alcoholic fermentation as well as 
the pylodic respiration. Now, the, the same energy which is produced by cells. Remember, cells produce energy which is stored in the body of organisms. Now, in what form is this cell energy stored? That's what we call ATP. ATP, which stands for adenosine triphosphate, is a form of energy which is stored in animal cells. This happens in such a way that if the body has a lot of energy, let me say just this amount of energy, a lot, which it can't use at this particular time, the all of it is converted to ATP. So it's converted to ATP. When the body lacks energy now, the same ATP will be broken down to form energy so that the body can use it. As you can see here, ADP plus inorganic phosphate is committed to ATP. Now, when the body needs energy, let me do this. When the body needs energy, what happens? The ATP is broken down and it releases, it releases energy. This energy is now used by um, cells. So, actually, what forms ATP is adenosine diphosphate which you can see here plus inorganic phosphate to form ATP and when the body needs energy this ATP is broken down in the process it raises this to again also it raises what energy we we'll end on the importance of ATP ATP is important in the following ways it makes it possible for energy to be stored and transported ATP, it makes energy to be available when and where it is needed. So, so thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, we looked at respiration, we looked at types of respiration, anaerobic and anaerobic. Uh, anaerobic respiration was further branched into uh, alcoholic and lactic fermentation. We looked at what lactic fermentation is, we also looked at what alcoholic fermentation is also looked at the differences in terms of energy and what they produce. We further looked at uh, adenosine triphosphate, which is a form of energy which is stored in human beings in order for, the, for that energy to be used when the body needs the energy. Also looked at its importance. So that's what we have from previous tutorials in the next video.